evening and welcome to Ending the Day with God on Friday the 27th of September. We opened our worship this evening with a song entitled God is Love, sung by the London Community Gospel Choir. Under the wings of the Spirit, the Spirit of the shining dark, let there be rest. The flame dies down, the autumn moon is born. Let there be rest. In the ending of the day, in the time of letting go. Let there be rest. We give you the harvest of the day. What has been learned and lost, and what has marked the pathways of our heart. We pray for a humbler knowing, for our hope to come, from those who experience poverty and persecution. May they live and sing aloud. We pray for a deeper presence with all who are struggling in life to find a place to shape a voice that is their own. May they live and sing aloud. We give you the harvest of the day. What must be carried and what must be set down and what must be shared as food for all. Amen. Amen. Tonight we continue our journey through chapters 8 to 10 of John's Gospel. This evening, John chapter 10, verses 7 to 10. So again Jesus said to them, Very truly I tell you, I am the gate for the sheep, all who came before me are thieves and bandits, but the sheep did not listen to them. I am the gate. Whoever enters by me will be saved and will come in and go out and find pasture. The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I came that they may have life and have it abundantly. Thanks be to God. We now listen to tonight's reflection. The theme of our reflection this evening is superabundance and thriving. At first glance, the assertion of Jesus to be the gate lacks the cosmic scope and sense of power and brilliance of a claim like I am the light of the world. However, when we dig deeper, understand the context and grasp the implications of these verses, we realise this declaration is no less staggering than any of the other I am sayings. <clears throat> the sheep enclosure we should be picturing here is a simple affair, a circular stone wall on a hillside. It is not the more substantial communal pen of the previous verses, and it has no gate. Indeed, it needs no gate because the shepherd himself would have occupied the space in the wall through which the animals come in and go out. Any potential thief or predatory animal would have to overcome the one who controlled access in and out. It is through Jesus, the gate, that we have access to God and are saved. The idea of having the freedom to come and go may sound to us like a superficially nice idea. However, to the ears of Jesus' hearers, these words comprised a familiar phrase with a rich heritage in their scriptures. Perhaps the best known example of its use to contemporary Christians is the evocative closing promise of Psalm 121. The Lord will keep your going out and your coming in from this time on and forevermore. It is an expression that implies the total well-being and security associated with God's blessing. It suggests a similar concept to the Hebrew word shalom, often translated as peace, but carrying a profound sense of wholeness, 
thriving and justice. So he came and proclaimed peace to you who were far off and peace for those who were near. For through him, both of us have access in one spirit to the Father. Amen. And now, as our Saviour, Jesus Christ, taught us, so we pray together. Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Keep us, Holy Spirit of air, under the shadow of your wings. Keep us, Holy Spirit of earth, in the darkening of your trees. Keep us, Holy Spirit of water, in the stillness of your depths. Keep us, Holy Spirit of fire, in the embers of your heart. Amen. Let us face the dark without fear. It is the night of creation, the night of birth, the night of resurrection. Let the divine darkness bless us and the Christ light guide us now and always. Amen. Amen. 